So, and since the market session is closed, I took a recording um, on our trading platform. Uh, I recorded a session from a while back, uh, I think it was the 17th, the night of the 17th. And if I, I don't have anything I could show you as a concrete example since the market's closed, but I'm going to show you how I stock using a hypothetical price. So let's play the session back. So right now it's the market open on the 17th. If I had, so this, this playback feature on the platform is essentially playing all markets, all charts back exactly as they were at that moment in time. It's recording every tick um, and it's playing it back and I can trade any market just like it were trading live. Okay, this is the um, uh, this is the demo platform. Okay, so this is what the market was doing at approximately let's see 8:42 on the 18th, um, which was uh, Wednesday morning. If I was stalking a uh, let pick something, what do we do? We want to buy or sell here? I I don't have any homework at this at this moment to to lean against, but. If I was looking to stock short, I'm going to speed this up a bit. Okay, I'm stocking to sell. What I'm looking for on the platform is for price absorption by the offers. Okay, so this is the hard right edge. And what I like to do is actually show my fills on my fills are on visible. Okay, good. <coughs> So let me test it. Okay. So what I'm looking for, let's speed this up. Let's this is really boring. The market's not doing anything. Let's speed this up quite a bit. Ten times. What I'm looking for, let's say I'm stalking 8250. Will we get to 8250? I'm stalking 8250. The market has come from lower prices from the 77 quarter key level and it's approaching 8250. Again, I don't do this in the middle of nowhere. I do this against levels that I want to trade. What I'm looking for when I'm stalking short is I'm looking for price absorption um, by the offer. So if I'm looking to sell, I'm looking for these prices to remain as they are and for the market to absorb those prices and reload. So let's slow this down here. So as it moves up, let's say my price is 81.50. I'm watching this price. I'm going to stock at a lower price just in case it doesn't get there. So see how it went from 1400 to 800. It's printing, it's printing, and then it drops and it there's there's it goes to 1400. That's not. It's showing me there is no bright price absorption. It's the market's still able to. Uh, the buyers are still more aggressive than the sellers. The buyers are never more than the sellers because they're equal in volume, but buyers are still more aggressive. The, these guys are not defending very well right now. And I'm just going to stalk and stalk and stalk until I see that the market has gone from running up to going sideways. And many of you will use a moving average or a fast chart, like I can switch to a 1500 and, and um, start to look for the market to go from trending up to going sideways and I will stock and if I can join so this market's tried several times to get these prices and it's not able to again 8150 is not an area I have homework for that I can trade but we're using this as an example see how it runs through see remember when I said it's it's not able to hold prices see that so this is kind of anticipated I'm not seeing aggressive what I want to see it is printing on the 82.50 or 82 quarter, and as it prints size, I want to see the offers coming back, almost like, oh, you want to take them? Here's some more. Here's some more. See how this bar is getting larger? That's absorption right there. That's my first clue that I might get a small rotation, small enough to be able to execute a trade against. Let's make this trade mechanical. So I'm just going to set a strategy real quick, just so that I don't have to fiddle with this and talk at the same time. Five ticks, type five tick target on the first, five tick stop, ten tick target, five tick stop, and then let's make this a fifteen tick target, five tick stop. Not trailing, just a stop. Okay, so now I've got the strategy loaded. I'm going to arm it. 
and now I'm looking to enter my trade. Okay. Again, I don't remember what this day did. This this is in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I don't have any levels in this area, but I don't want to sit here for hours kind of stalking a real trade. But um, so I'm looking for price absorption here. I need this to hold now for the short. I need this to hold. I don't want them to fall into the thinner part of the profile. So I'm stalking, I'm stalking. See, there's no, there's no a real good absorption here. They shouldn't be able to do that through here if, if I'm going to see some. See how now it's starting to break higher. Now all these people who traded right here, all this volume that traded right here is going to start puking them out. They're going to start covering their shorts. So the market's able to move more easily through these prices. The absorption that happened is not um, taking effect. See how these, these, these bars are starting to move? It's because these people who tried to get in here for the rotation um, are having to cover. Again, I only do this in my areas to do business. I don't do this in the middle of nowhere. I'm doing it in the middle of nowhere just to, to show you an example of how I'm reading the dome. I'm looking for how fast are prices printing on the offer? Is it being absorbed or is it being rebutted? Is this 1400 going to stay here as it prints the 83s or is it going to pull off? Okay, see this absorption happening? See how this bar is rising? In order for that bar to rise like this, there has to be a seller in there. Otherwise, there's nothing. That, that's a fake bid. I'm going to hit the market. I'm filled. Okay? Taking slight heat. And while the market's doing this, I'm looking for my first scale out. I don't care about this trade. It's just one trade. It's either going to win or lose. It should not be pushing into, into this. Again, I'm taking this trade against an area in the middle of nowhere. I don't have any backup here. They're trying to, there is some absorption here. It's probably going to lift my stop. And what I'll try to do is actually manage the trade with a trade analyzer. And what I'm interested in, as soon as I get my fill on my first target, I'm looking for my theoretical average. And what my theoretical average is, is it's, computing for me, and I keep this up all day, it's computing for me, after I get my first fill, what is my theoretical entry price? So I just got stopped on that trade, another trade taken, another trade lost, it's fine. Okay. Again, I took that trade in the middle of nowhere, but I'm trying to describe to you how I'm reading the dome.